Hello everyone, Leaf here, and today I'm joined with Arya and Ethan, and today we're greeted with some Fitbits. We've got a few different Fitbits on, on hand here. We have some older Fitbit Charge HR, not HRs, so the first charge with the heart rate sensor, as you can see from the glowing lights in the bottom. We have this Fitbit, which is the newer one. This is actually mine. And we have the Weiss Fitbit, which is a Charge HR2. So it's the second edition of these Fitbits, but now has the interchangeable bands. Now, Fitbit's been around for quite some time. They're sort of the ideal, like sort of the ball, what everybody uses as the standard for fitness trackers. Yes, other people have made them, Garmin, even the Apple Watch has a fitness tracker built into it. But, I've always wondered how exactly they work. Because they track your steps, okay, so there's something to track that. You have the ability to tell what, how, or you have the ability to say how many floors you've gone up. So, all I know is that there's a little hole on pretty much, pretty much everyone. I'm not sure about this one. Oh yeah, this one has a two, as well as mine. They've all got holes to find out how many floors you've gone up. They last about five days for a battery charge, which is pretty phenomenal, especially with the blinky lights going all the time. But, I don't know how exactly they work. So, between our three original charges and our two new ones, we're gonna find out what get or what's inside one of these guys and figure out exactly what makes it tick. Okay, now out of all the Fitbits. We have three here that are older Charge HRs. The reason why I'm going to get into one of them, specifically this one, is because it has, for all intents and purposes, outlived its lifespan. Uh, on each one of them, they have blisters on the front. But this one has been glued together, I don't know how many times, I've lost track, but it's basically to the point now where it just does not work. So rather than have it fall apart and get lost somewhere other than in the house right here, I can just, we're going to dissect it tonight and we're going to find out what's in it. Now before we get into this too much, we need to make sure that we're taking all necessary safety precautions. So first, safety glasses. Check. Now, step one, we want to get into the plastic on the inside of this, so we got to take the band off. Do you guys care to help? Mm -hmm. Alright, you take one side. You want to take the other side, Ethan? Now, can you guys pull it apart? You might need better grips. Ready? Uh, it's like stretching! Like it's stretching! <laughs> ah, half done! <laughs> this does not fit good. Wait, I know how to. Well, I think we might be onto something here. Up here. <laughs> Maybe. This side's still glued in pretty well, so let's bring you guys in a little closer. Okay. All right, so we got first piece off. Apparently it's gone up 11, wait, sorry, 11 steps today. Yeah, it hasn't been worn for a while. So now to get rid of the next piece. Let's see if I can get a grip on it. 
Now, the last time I super glued it, I glued the sides together as well as a little bit just under the display. As many times as that's peeled off, I think uh, this time it actually wanted to hold. Yeah, there's even still some, some still on it. Alright, so what's a Fitbit? This is a Fitbit. This is all there is to it. Now, looking at it, here, I'll just get my pointer ready. You have the heart rate monitor, which is, works with these two blinky lights and the sensor in the middle. You have a little hole in the side for the, what I'm assuming is an air pressure sensor to tell you how many floors there is. Now what is not supposed to be on here is the crack that runs on the underside of the display across the body and then down to this side or another crack that sort of starts over here and runs up the side over here. So I don't know what I did to this thing but apparently it wasn't good. On the back where it touches your skin you have the heart rate monitor which uses a combination of these two blinky green lights and the sensor to monitor I guess the blood flow through your veins or arteries, whichever one it's trying to do. You have your charging port on the side here, which is also on the back, constantly gets dirty. And you have a little hole, which I'm assuming uh, measures the air pressure mm -hmm. to find out how many floors you've gone up. And on the other side of that, you've got your display. So let's figure out how to get into this thing. Now I was looking, trying to figure out how to get into it. And it looks like there are four screws, one at each corner as well as this black collar that goes around the display that holds it all together. Unfortunately, I don't have any little screwdrivers small enough to do that. So, let's try something a little different. And that should be fair. That's not the way you're we'll supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, there we go. So, as it turns out, this collar is not actually attached to the display. The display is actually underneath it, which is good to know. Yeah. So now we're getting into the guts of it. So as you can see, the display is hidden inside. I'm not exactly sure what this little sensor is. This actually might be the Bluetooth antenna. So it can connect to your phone to transfer all the data. Now, let's see if we can get the other end of this off so we can see what's in the other half. Maybe not. Maybe that's the antenna. Whatever it is, I th mm. think. Yep. I don't think. I know. I broke it off. Oops. So, yeah. What do I think about? That's probably the Bluetooth set. The Bluetooth antenna. Uh. And there's the rest of it. So, let's see if we could get at the rest of the inside of this. Okay. Ah, more screws. Now this rubber gasket, I'm assuming is for the sweat proofing. Fitbits are not actually waterproof, so they don't necessarily need it. Anything, they don't have anything beyond that. Now this, I would presume would be the battery. Now for something that charges or that keeps the display going, the heart rate sensor going, and if I can get this off, mostly, still can't quite see it, 
but underneath should be the sensor to check or to test the air pressure to find out how many floors you go up and down. For such a little battery, that actually does quite a lot. Now, the display on this one is uh, pretty much shot. It should have looked a whole lot nicer than that, but it's... As I said, it's sort of on its last legs. So let's see what else we can get out of here. Maybe we can get the whole thing out. Uh, okay, so we got to do something with these screws. Uh, all right, so long screws. goes through the screw. I can't exactly tell. Let's see if I can just get her to go. Oh, there goes the ribbon for the heart rate sensor. Ah, there we go. And actually, this little guy in the back or this little guy that I thought was the battery? It's not the battery. This is the sensor, actually it's not even the sensor, it's the vibrate motor to give you the notifications when either, uh, say a phone call is coming in if you have it set for it, or if you have an alarm. This is the battery. And it's a little lithium ion battery, lithium polymer, I guess. So yeah, we're not going to test to find out whether it's one of the batteries that explode when you puncture it. We're going to be safe. Yes, we have our safety glasses on. We don't need any fires in the house. So, as I was saying beforehand, there's a sensor that checks air pressure. I do believe that this is that sensor. And it's been acting up for a while, and I think I figured out why. It's sort of full of junk. So that could be why it's acting up. But then the, all the brains for this, it's just this one little board, only a couple chips. Not a whole lot to it. So I'm pretty impressed. They sure pack a lot of interesting equipment into a very, very tiny package. And so that's what makes up a Fitbit. You have Bluetooth antenna, you have the heart rate sensor, the contacts for the battery charger, the guts itself, lithium battery, little vibrator motor, display, air pressure sensor, a whole bunch of plastic, and a few rubber bits. I sort of thought they were getting more complicated than that. While the, the board itself is awfully complicated, there's really not a whole lot to it. So, that's what makes a Fitbit tick. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. And dangerous. Oops. Well, I guess that's what happens when you want to make progress. Sometimes you bite the device, sometimes the device bites back. Does this work? Yep. 
Oh no, we're flatlining. And we've gone up no floors. Sounds about right. <laughs>